You know, we hear this question all the time. How can you believe in God? The Bible is so anti-scientific. If you have a scientific mind, you can't believe in God. Actually, to me, it works in the exact opposite way. I don't understand how you can do good science and not believe in God or at the very least an intelligent designer. I, I mean, look, I'm aware that you could quote verses, say from the Ten Commandments and Exodus, the 20th chapter. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them and rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. And you say, well, that, throw that whole thing out. Well, why don't we put that on the side for the moment? All right. Why don't we just put that aside for the moment? And the question of creation in six days with the six literal days or not as the earth young girl. Let's just put that aside for a moment. And let's ask ourselves, do scientists have an explanation for the origin of the universe? The answer is no. In fact, some say, well, there are multiverses. There, there must be all kinds of multiple universes and ours just happen to come out right. So in other words, because they can't come up with the origin of one universe. Instead, they're going to posit many universes. Well, where did those come from? Where did the matter come from? How did this come to be? Even the idea of a big bang, as one of my colleagues says, it means there must be a big banger. What about the origin of life? Does science have an explanation for that? No. What about DNA and the coding that's in us, the intricate computer programming that's in us? And, and the further you reduce things, I mean, to the most microscopic cell that we, we can't even conceive how many of these could, could fit on the pin of a needle, and they're like working, functioning machines. The more science discovers, in my view, the more science discovers, the harder it's going to be to deny the existence of an intelligent creator, an intelligent designer. And from there, it's a short jump to the God of the Bible, which then explains so many things about ourselves. So for me, I don't see how you could be true to science and deny the existence of God or at least an intelligent designer.